Elsco winds all their dry type transformers by hand to ensure the most reliable transformers on the market. Here you see our team winding the low voltage copper. We insert DuPont's Nomex insulation between each layer of copper to insulate between turns. We use extra packout insulation at each end to prevent shifting once the transformer is standing upright. This ensures that the structural integrity of the coil is not compromised. Another benefit to manufacturing by hand is to ensure that all the cooling duct spacers are aligned and spaced as calculated per the bending forces. This prevents warping of the sheet conductor and increases the radial strength which makes the coil more robust. Here you see some of our team members winding the high voltage conductor by hand. A lot of companies have automated the high and low voltage winding processes, but that contributes to a lower quality product because they can't always catch minor imperfections along the way. Low quality is the number one cause of unplanned transformer failures, which costs you a lot of money due to downtime, lost productivity, and rigging costs. This is a DuPont Nomex insulated rectangular wire, which we use for high current designs and bending forces. Rectangular wire uses the least amount of space, which makes for a more efficient unit. Then some other team members assemble the core, which is made up of precision cut pieces of steel to ensure the perfect circular fit inside the coil. This creates a smaller space, which makes the unit more compact for lower total cost and increased efficiency. The copper leads from the low voltage coils are then MIG or TIG welded to the bus bars. The weld creates a superior conductance compared to just bolting the leads to the bus. Without the weld, bolts could loosen from vibration, lead to heat buildup, and create inefficiencies within the transformer. Throughout the build process, the transformer is tested four times prior to it being varnished. After the unit is fully cured and cooled down, the connections are claimed for the assembly of high voltage cables and final testing. Our final power factor test typically yields a rating of 0.3%, which is well below the industry requirement of 1% or lower.